Still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. Ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the... How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All my life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. I don't understand. 